Before we wind up this session, let me sum up the main points I want you to remember about the battle formations of the squad. First, the squad column. It's easy to control, hard to see, and hard to hit. Close it up at night, in fog, in smoke, or in dense woods. Open it on terrain that is devoid of cover and concealment. The squad column is the best approach march formation of the squad. Your platoon leader will almost always prescribe it. Second, the squad wedge. This is the formation of readiness. Your platoon leader may order the wedge instead of the open squad column to cross very open terrain. He may also order it in the last stages of the approach as a preliminary step to deployment. It's a good formation to use when your squad is acting alone, but remember your security to front, to flanks, and to rear. The skirmish line is our fighting formation. Use it to fight from. Use it to advance the attack. Use it to cross small open areas that are being shelled. Since it's a hard formation to control, do not use it for long advances and do not use it at night. In all three of these formations, be on your guard to prevent bunching and to prevent straight lines and straight columns. I have left the big thing to the last. Remember this, there is no substitute for thought and there is no substitute for the aggressive fighting spirit. In battle, you're going to be squarely on your own most of the time. No man can tell you now and no man can tell you then the fighting formations you may have to adopt. At one moment, you may find yourself temporarily cut off and forced to dispose your men in a rough circular formation in all directions. At the next moment, you may dispatch part of your squad to knock off a troublesome machine gun, thus having a formation with part of your squad defending and part attacking. At another stage of the fight, you may be driving forward in a squad wedge through heavy woods. At still another, you may find yourself stalking the defenders of an anti-tank obstacle Indian fashion. All of which adds up to one fact. There are no rules in a fight. Meet each situation with common sense, a little imagination, and an unshakable determination to win, and nothing this side of heaven and hell can stop us. I want each of you squad leaders to realize that your part in the battle picture is vital. The squad is the very brick and mortar of battle. What our army is and what our army shall be rests largely with you. Yours is a great role and a great trust. Be worthy of it.